Hello and welcome to a different looking Barclay Street podcast this week, episode nine. Can't believe it's episode nine already of Barclay Street. Hashtag Barclay Street. Tell your friends. Tell all your friends. Let them know. Retweet us. Yeah. Get us, uh, hit us up on uh, on the Instagrams. Let's yeah, on the Instagrams. I have a bone to pick with you about the gram, actually. Uh, <laughs> hey, uh, this yeah. steady. I'm still, I'm still doing my intro. Sorry. So, yeah, brought sorry. to you by Coming our very, hot. very, very good friends at Mercedes Vans. You are rolling in hot today. Ooh, yeah. yep. Gee yep. whiz. Well, uh, far be it for me to stand in the way. Marcus <laughs> Bontem Pally, the stallion himself, the skipper. The man in charge of HMAS Footscray this year. What's going on? What's why are you upset with me? No, it's only a, it's more of a a a, a, a small thing mm. that I think needs mm. some work. I, I don't know if there's any Instagram, you know, courses or diplomas you can take, but whenever you repost the um, you know, whenever the, the episode drops for Barclay Street, uh, can you actually hit repost rather than screenshot the the post and then it's it's frustrating. I mean, get I, with it, brother. Get admit, with it. I must. I must admit the luck. La- I did it the first time, didn't that? And then the second time, I was like, "Oh, the you swipe know, up bit's not going to work, is it?" You, you actually screenshot the swipe up part or add this to your story. Maybe, All you have to do is maybe, click the button. It's maybe that you. was maybe that was my little uh, my little what? joke, my little trick. Yeah, Pulled well, you. I'd believe it. Gotcha. I'd believe it if yeah, if if it was true, if you were capable. Swipe up. I reckon. Give it to Swipe us. We're up. missing out. Oh. We're missing out on quality people being able to view yeah. the content, mate. Um, um, now I've heard the numbers yeah. are big. I've heard there's a lot of people tuning in. Yeah. And why wouldn't they yeah. be? Why wouldn't they well, be? We've had some, we've yeah, had some right. amazing guests. We've had some good We have guests. had some amazing We're starting to run out of mm. um, steam, though, because today's, <laughs> is, um, today's is just, let's be honest, yeah. we are scraping the bar. These are tough times. And, you know, they are. The, our loyal, our loyal listeners of Barclay Street, they know it's tough. We're, we're trying. Yeah. You know, we don't have a huge budget to get guests. Um, no, today's guest is the only one who demanded a fee, actually. He so is. Yeah. 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 We might, we might delve into that a little bit later. Um, of course, that'll be uh, Eastern Wood, the uh, Western. the former skipper. There, yeah, the man with the former. the man with the man with the sharpened toothbrush in his kidney yeah. that Marcus Bontempelli shoved <laughs> in there. To get <laughs> to become captain, uh, uh, we're going to get to that a bit later. Cat Knight, in all seriousness, can't wait to chat with Woody. See what he's up to. Be awesome. Yeah, he's, he's had a pretty dramatic couple of weeks, actually. He has. But I got, he has. I got. But I got dragged into on the socials. We can chat about that as well. <laughs> yes, yeah, for absolutely. a theft. <laughs> Everyone thought that was so funny on the socials yeah. that one. Um, on the fingers, were they? Were they pointing oh, fingers? Oh yeah. Oh, and like. <laughs> <laughs> so well, let's just i'll just so we'll let, poor yeah, old Ethan, keep mate, our seriously on. like a, a, well seriously you know they he got broken into and had a mm. whole heap of stuff pinched from his house which is obviously you know really yeah, disconcerting and shame. horrible for him mm. um but mm. it, but they stole his premiership medal and as soon as the mm. news story was eastern woods premiership medal style i was like here yeah, i was like mm. three two Did you? One. Did you? Did you really? Oh, did you anticipate that they'd come oh, for you? Mate, <laughs> this is eight my first uh, rodeo, Bond. It was like three, two, one. Yeah. So, oh, someone should so, ask for me. <laughs> yeah. So, and then, uh, so that was the first couple were funny. Uh, the, yeah. the 50th The fiftieth wasn't as funny. So, then it was trending. Then it was trending. Yeah. Then you had the police at your door. Ah uh, oh, dear. Um, mm. Hey, but it's been a um. We've we've chatted for weeks on here, and there's been let's mm. be honest, there's been not much news apart from um you getting a new dog and mm. and uh yeah and um with the, and the the talk about your curtains at your mum and dad's house and all yeah. that sort of stuff hasn't been yeah. much happening. But this week Spindles you're back at tra- yeah <laughs> you're back at training. <laughs> yep, mate. It's how, it's, how it's awesome that, to be back. Yeah, it's been it's been great. I think we've all been. You know, waiting, waiting for the for the time to do it, and clearly there's been a lot of a lot of discussion, a lot of talk, um, a lot of troubleshooting, I guess you'd call it, with regard to how it looks. And um, ultimately, at the end of the day, it was always going to be sort of centred around sort of the health and safety of the the people within the league and outside as well, for us to be able to get back and, and do it. And um, I guess you know, uh, uh, Victoria especially, but Australia across the board have done a really good job at helping to 
to slow the spread in in, in a sense. Um, and it's just been it's been great to be back uh, at the football club training training together. And you just you get that that energy and vibe again from being able to have a kick and train together. So um, it's it was good. It's been great to start again. Can I ask you, I saw a photo during the week, so it was when the players were back and um, Sam Power, I think, was he had some sort of uh, scientific medical sort of apparatus yeah. pointed, at, pointed at the players like a, like a pistol. Yeah. What, yeah. Is that a, was that a temperature? Yeah, a temperature thing? check. Yeah, exactly. So you're basically... A bit different to when I was playing, in, mate. It used to, uh, what it was used it? to be a bit... The old, well, the thermometer was... A bit more intimate back in the uh, <laughs> made its way inside. The with it. <laughs> <laughs> it wouldn't be. Well, you put it this way: you wouldn't be doing it in front of the cameras, and that's all. Yeah, that's right. Just... Okay, that's yeah, that is that is no. Nah, that's so, just part of the the process and protocol of getting to the club. So every time you arrive at the club, you, you fill out your your sort of morning wellness with regard to how you're sort of feeling from a physical point of view. Um, and then, yeah, have your temperature checked before you can enter the club. So um, there's, a, there's a whole sort of range of protocols that are really important for us to follow, particularly in this first week, because the first week of training is in small groups. So the groups have been sort yeah. of split up into, into weights. And yeah, basically we're on a, you know, you're on a schedule to, to basically hit all three parts of your training um, sort of at once and off the back of each other. So it's, you know, it, it's, it's interesting. It's, it's, um, it's just what we have to sort of become accustomed to, I think now for us to all get going again, but certainly what we're Give me an to example. So what do you, so you, so you, so you walk into the club, you get your temperature taken. Yeah. Um, yep. Go so and the, get changed. Like, what are the, what that, other things? Do you, yeah. How many times are you six, washing your hands? Yeah, multiple, multiple, pretty much. Yeah. Like pretty much every time you're in and out, I guess, virtually. Um, so you, you essentially come in, you've all got your groups have your own areas to where you can get changed. So you, you're essentially, essentially confined to, to now just sort of training and an even somewhat a little bit socialising, but not really with your group. You're essentially there just to train in your group and you'll obviously cross paths with, with, with other groups, um, but you're sort of meant to stay within your own groups um, because just the way that the training works, that you're going to be um, in different parts of your training you know, at separate times. So um, yeah. I'm in the morning morning group at the minute. So you essentially have two two groups training together at the same time, but at different ends of the ground. Um, so you don't come into contact at all with the other group. You stay in your group of eight and just train in that small group. And then you'll finish your training. You'll come in, um, basically sort of clean yourself up a little bit, and then you'll head straight into a rotation of what's... Um, weights so one group's lifting weights to, to start with and the other group is then therefore massage or treatment or recovery type things um and that was it for yesterday we only had those those two groups so after that you're pretty much out so you're literally in you get your training done you get your weights done if you're massage you get a massage done which is really limited at the minute and then you're pretty much out and then there's another obviously four groups to follow on off the back of you. So um, yeah. she's pretty interesting. She's pretty interesting, mate. It's sort of like you're a bit like ships in the night a little bit. Like you can see each other, yeah. the other groups, I should say, but you don't really mix at all. So yeah. it's just, you know, trying to obviously be as, as um, I guess, successful and, and clear as possible with what we can do um, around, you know, keeping things healthy and yeah, hygienic. Yeah. Um, so I read something the other day around, you know, that clubs are s keeping the stars separated. So they're in, in sort of as mm -hmm. best they can, the separate groups just to, you know, to, mm -hmm. to minimise risk of losing the best players. My, my question, the thing that twigged immediately was, do the players know <laughs> which are the stars that they're keeping? Who are the stars well, they're trying to separate and who are just the slop? Who are just, oh, yeah. Uh, like. <laughs> I mean, you know what it's like. You know what it's like in football clubs. You're always assessing where you're at. You're always yeah. assessing. And I'm sure there's a, oh, I mean, I'm sure everyone's having their own opinions on it. And that's going to be fair enough. I, I, don't, I, I don't think so. I haven't been told that that's the way we've gone. Uh, my understanding is it's just a, it's just a mix of you know pretty you much know. age, experience, and positions. You know, no, you've, swear. You've, swear. you've worked it out. You're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's one. There's one. There's one. Those decisions aren't up to me. 
Uh, I just do what I'm told, mate. But it, it, yeah, like okay. I said, it's it's just been great to be back. And the energy, energy as you you know understand when you are sort of training together, as opposed to just in twos like you are in the off season. It just it just yeah. kicks up another gear. So yeah, great to be back. Yeah. Ah, oh, that's good, mate. So um, we haven't got a fixture yet, but uh, so we're not too far away from getting a bit of a a roadmap of games and venues and all that kind of hoopla. Mm. Yep. Um, well, I mean, I'm still yeah waiting, probably like everyone else. Um, we've got a, a leaders meeting today, which we do every week, as as you'd know, to talk about potentially. You know, I don't even know if, if people are basically within the club management perspective or aware yet. Um, I've heard maybe yeah. next week, early next week, we could potentially find out. But uh, at the same time, I'm still unsure. I mean, ultimately, you're just prepared for, for whatever at this point. To, uh, as far as I know, it'll be done in sort of four-week blocks, um, yeah. as in the release of the fixture. So, um, I mean, that gives you obviously something to look and plan for for the four-week period. But I think we'll all just be, you know, really looking forward to playing again, not just being able to play the game, particularly off the back of round one. Like we've had to wait a fair while yeah. to be able to respond to, to the game, the first game we played, which was, you know, it was pretty disappointing from our perspective. And uh, myself, yeah, it was a bit of a... a, bit of a stick. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, mate, we'll, we'll just be looking forward to try and follow that up and butter up after that one. But um, should be should be a little bit different. But, you know, we're prepared for, for all scenarios, man. Uh, well, it's um, good to know that footies are not too far away. Hey, let's have a quick mm. break and we'll um, we'll bring in um, the former skipper, Western. the man himself, Western Easternwood. Um, and I've just got just a little teaser. I just want to float um, the two most controversial words in football right now, and they are the bonk ban. We're going <laughs> to chat about that after the break. Welcome back to the Western Bulldogs podcast, award-winning podcast, maybe, probably not. Yeah. Uh, Barkley Street, hashtag Barkley Street, episode nine. Whew, we're getting up there now, Bont. We're not, not far oh, off. Um, yeah, like veteran status of, uh, yeah. of, of the podcast world. The um, but it is our, you are. The golden <laughs> mark. Uh, well, it, it, is our, it is our, oh, it's sort of our pleasure, but middle of the road <laughs> sort of stuff. To be honest, it's, we've had some big names. We've had some exciting times on this pod this week. I wouldn't say we're phoning it in as such, but it's just your sort of bog standard garden variety guest today. <laughs> Former this Premiership captain. Hang on a second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is... Oh. Uh, this Look at the power struggle. Up. Look at the power Sorry, struggle that's going on. Unamamento, por favor. Um, uh, Eason Wood, mate, welcome to Barclay Street. How are you doing, man? Western. Uh, I'm good, guys. Thanks for having me. You know, it took nine shows to get on, but I assume you had some uh, some better better guys beforehand. I did only get the call yesterday, so I'm not sure who pulled out don't, or who. I'm... Look, don't listen. read into that. Don't read yeah, into that no, too much. You were not. But, you were not last minute. You weren't a last minute thought. I promise. I promise. But also, I wouldn't ask. Don't ask too many questions of. Seamus and Adrian and the guys who do a tireless work behind the scenes. Just, just go yeah. with it. Just go yeah. with the flow today. Agree. Um, thanks, thanks for dressing up, Weston. Um, got your, um, got your hoodie on, and hopefully you're wearing pants. Who knows? Probably not. <laughs> how's it, how's it going? How's it been back at training? We were just chatting to Bond before about just getting yeah. back into the rhythm of it. Must be, must be nice to be back in the saddle. Yeah, mate. It's it's awesome. Um, obviously, having trained. <laughs> For two months, I did the first month of my own training on my own, so that was that was interesting. And then for the last, the, the other month, I've been training with Hunts, um, which has been great. But to to get back and actually be around the board, be in the club for one, and and yeah. to see everyone, um, it's just been awesome. I mean, it's it's different to what we're used to, but because it's so much better than what we've previously had over the last few months, um, there's been a real spark in energy, and I've I've yeah, really enjoyed being back. That's for sure. Has it been weird, like the we were talking before about the just the protocols around that? And I imagine there's oh, yeah. a whole lot, lot <laughs> less staff and stuff like that. Is it been... so strange? So there's the yeah, there's the, the staff element. Um, you know, there's just so many less people in in the building. Um, there's the the coaches that are taking the session aren't allowed to touch the balls. So that's a strange little yeah. thing. So if the ball goes near them, they can't pick it up or 
we'll kick it back to us. Um, you, you know, we have to go and grab that. There's training, we're training in groups of six or seven. So um, there's a real limited amount of drills that you can do in that kind of number yeah. and without mm. contact for this week as well. So it's, um, yeah, that's been, been strange, but uh, it's been heaps better than um, the previous couple of months and just being able to get back and, and see everyone has been, has been good. Yeah. Um, look, I, I, we could dance around it all you like, but, you know, my job as, um, you know, the, the serious journalist on this podcast mm. is to yeah. represent is to represent the listeners and the public the and what side. they want to know. And, oh, okay. Well, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you, you say the dark side. I say documenting the times we live in. This is the... <laughs> This is now, um, Bob. Are you going somewhere with this? He does oh, this. He just... does this. He goes off in <laughs> tangents, and it's like everyone <laughs> just builds the suspense. Bim. So, yep, I'm, I'm in isolation. I'm in isolation for two months with Justine and the three kids. No one listens to me. So in here, <laughs> you listen. <laughs> Sit down and shut up. Uh, um, there's been uh, quite a bit of controversy this week around um, the, the AFL sort of bringing in some um, sort of guidelines around uh, intimacy and um, the, uh, <laughs> Go the, on. Bedroom, the bedroom habits or <laughs> a- antics, I suppose, of league footballers. And, of course, there's a, there's a very serious element to this. But I think we can also have a little bit of fun. Um, how, have you, how, have you, how, how is this... How is this sort of um, news, these guidelines, have, have they landed in the football sphere? What's been the reaction from the, from the locker room? Oh, a shake of the head from the single man. <laughs> well, there has been repercussions, big repercussions. Well, well, a certain, being, there's a certain married, portion of them. Well, like, I obviously haven't had the ears prick up um, too much to this, but there has been, uh, has been whispers and um, there has been... Obviously, there's been opportunities um, to ask questions in, in group settings, um, in our Zoom meetings and that kind of thing. Um, yep. and quite, uh, what would you call it? I think quite smartly the boys have not asked this, these questions. <laughs> in front of or the they've, been, they want, or they've been anonymous. Yeah. Uh, anonymous. Yeah. Yes. Alias. So they're asking the right channels and trying to get clarification. It is a... Yeah. But yeah, maybe Bont's the one to be asking. He's the, he's the it's single... It's very man. great. Uh, it's very great. <laughs> well, I, I, obviously, and there's great, clarity. If, uh, <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm unsure if I will. I, I've got a, sm- a decent understanding, but I think there's a lot of... Uh, you know, there's a portion of the list, the, probably the single portion, that um, yeah. are... are uh, you know, in uncharted territory. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's so, be honest. Yeah. There's a large portion of that single list, uh, the single boys, that it probably won't impact at all either. Just. <laughs> it's true. That is true. It is so true. So I, I actually found it quite amusing. Not so much that the got so the the guidelines are brought in because it, it 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 actually makes quite a bit of sense that they yeah. they 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 yeah. can't the AFL, they can't come in and tell people that you cannot have a visitor <laughs> but this is about minimizing you know all that sort of so it's pretty it, it is pretty mm. sort of straightforward if you think about it my, my, the thing that made me laugh the most was that look i don't know if it was gill and mclaughlin but i imagine the afl exec sitting around knowing what they want to tell the players and then go yeah what uh how do we say yep. it what's the language here and, yeah. and uh, like <laughs> When I saw, um, you know, randoms and hookups and <laughs> yeah, that just, that yeah, just really, that really tickled that, me. That I reckon it would have had to be in the top three hardest sort of meetings. I reckon they've had. They've got hubs. You've got <laughs> right. return to train, return to play, and then it's how do we communicate that you know, slow I the just, bonking down. Yeah. I, I love the <laughs> name, the bonk band. That the is, bonk for, band. Uh, it's the yeah. Bonk band. I could, I was just kind of imagining moments of silence where they went. Mm. Yep. <laughs> uh, how do we? Yep. Uh, mm, yeah. Hey, uh, Weston, you've had a you've had a pretty um pretty dramatic couple of weeks. You got you got yeah. broken into, and I got dragged yeah. into it. And what happened? Mm. What's the well, you were, uh, According to Twitter, you were the prime suspect. Um, <laughs> suspect. Sus. Uh, Twitter's crazy. Oh <laughs> yeah. 
it's a jungle. What, so we got we got robbed um and i would have said of all the so we we spoken to the police and we did a um they couldn't find anything so they thought we'd do a media release so we could hopefully if someone had seen something or something would come up someone would come forward with some information so that meant putting it out on social media channels and that kind of thing and everyone of everyone was really supportive everyone just all half was, em- half was so half thought you know that's that's awful blah 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 blah, blah. we're really sorry we hope you get it back and the support from that half was, was amazing the other 30 percent um thought it was you bob <laughs> they all asked yeah. your out time of taking the medal. And then the other, war another twenty percent, the la- the last little bit, and they were pretty hard on this. Went very hard. It were a matter of just it was my fault for not being at home. Um, so I deserved to get robbed. So you know, it's always it's always fun, Twitter. Yeah. It's always good. It's quite a um, it's quite a strong, quite a strong, strong. view that one. Yeah. yeah, yeah, strong. That's a strong angle to take. My my question is. Have the police ruled him out yet? Uh, is he in the clear? <laughs> that's that's what I want to know. Has has you know has that ran dry? I'm curious from both points I, of I, view. I, I, I no won't comment. be talking about that without a, without a, without a lawyer. I will not be talking about. <laughs> I'm not going to sit here and answer these questions. <laughs> yeah, it's looking hot. Yeah. yeah. Um, but- uh, what else, man? What else is happening? What's what's news in your world? How's family life at home? Well, family life's great, Bobo. Um, Tiff and I are expecting baby number two. We're hey! a, yeah, we're having a little boy. Uh, so Huge. something good to come out of 2020. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Otherwise, I've, just, I've got... you have wiped it. You just want to happy to start <laughs> things. I've I've got an interesting thing to to broach with the group that I've caught with. Yes, this this is this is big. I've I've had on good Jeez. authority and news that um, Bob trying to you know continue your I guess relevance within the football world of the type of player that, that you, Gee, you were. Angry um, though. Yeah, I'm enjoying and had, this Yeah, and I've had on good good like I said good authority and strong news mm-hmm. that you, you spit you it out, mate. If you're going to yeah, achieve, I am. Spit I'm it out, doing, mate. Oh, Says says the man who builds up everything he says that you aren't not guilty of sending a, a message or a video every now and again of a certain kick or some sort of, um, you know, I guess a, a play that you consider good um, to, to a teammate or two. Now, I'm not going to say who it might be to, but there might be someone on the call that's received it once before or twice. Speak up if that's you. At least. <laughs> At least. Well... Just, I, just, I just feel like every now and then, Easton, he just needs a little reminder of <laughs> just the artistry of my left foot from time to time. Mm, and I like left. to send him it. And I like to send him a video once a week just to go, don't forget the old boy. Remember, remember yeah. he could do a bit of this. He used to be able to do wow. a bit of this. Try, try and add a bit of this into your intercept mark and his defense. <laughs> <laughs> boring. <laughs> throw, throw it on the left. There's there's two elements to this point that I love the most about what what's what's going on here. So so Murph out of the blue decides to send us a message. Um, it's no context, no no lead in. It's just a clean video of him versus Adelaide in 2015, and he's in the back line and he rolls onto his left. And no one would ever do this, but he decides to kick it 55 meters, lace out to me in the middle of the ground, and I don't break stride. Now, unfortunately, I have to admit, it's the best kick I've ever seen. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, yes. Well, obviously, I, well, obviously, I've obviously so many, to the so many just yeah. like the audacity we, to try it, to be on the opposite, to then execute it, and then to, for me, not to break stride. But the best part about, there's two best parts about the video, Bonnet, um, which says a lot about Murph and where, you know, where, where he's at. The best part, number one, is when I mark the ball, and start to run, Murph lets off this little <laughs> of just enjoying his own work. It's just <laughs> so nice to play on loop. And the second bit is the, cro- the the point at which he decides to crop it. If the video was to play out, I then hit Jake Lace out in the forward line and he kicks a goal. Well, but where do you think Bob cuts it? No, well, not a chance. A millisecond yeah. after I mark it. Go on. <laughs> Got, that was it. I lost. I lost interest. Play, play it out, Bobo. Play it out. 
Boring. <laughs> well, I must I must interject because I've decided to to flip the script, turn the tables a little bit, and we, as we do, Bob, we like to unpack certain plays of football that had yeah. immense impact on on those around us, and and you know oh, sometimes gonna, are we gonna, the individuals are we gonna, in this room. Are we going to yeah, replay we're gonna the have kick a look. against Adelaide? Yeah. Now, oh, we're going to replay a kick, but it might not be the one you're alluding to. So uh, oh, let's roll the up. tape oh, and were, let, let's have others. a look. Dogs are 13 oh, yeah. 11. Ring a bell, Bruce. Last year's grand final score. Yep. And the prelim, I think, as well. 13 oh. 11. Here they are oh. again. Murphy set up. A couple of bounces. Oh, what a fairy tale. <laughs> Would you see that in the Rob Murphy career? Never, <laughs> never have. To. Absolutely. Just Ooh. expecting that to yep. float straight over the umpire's hat. Murphy's floor. All this to it. Oh, little, <laughs> little Murphy's <laughs> floor from Brian Taylor too. Yeah, oh, and I was I was man. pretty fortunate. I was lucky, you know. You can't win them all, Bob. It did happen. Was that your last kick in league football by any chance? That was the last touch, the last moment. Oh, yeah, worst. Wow. The worst kick of in 18 years, <laughs> save it till last. It actually, in my head, and watching it, it did, doesn't make it any better. <laughs> it, actually, it actually made the sound. And when I kicked, it actually made like a fart sound. In my, like, <laughs> uh, and it, you, before, I must... you said, so you, you're, you, you're in the forward pocket. I, that, watch mm, it. Oh, I, I was. I, 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 was, I barely yeah. saw you on the replay, let alone at the yeah. time. No idea you were there. <laughs> I was, and uh, and so I ultimately got the best view from where you kicked it from, and then where it ended up. Which I mean, I was flat. You burnt me for starters because I was on. It was probably a sure thing. But then I was excited and pumped because I'd got to see it from the angle that I did, mm. and it almost landed in the second level from fifty. I was. Yeah, it it was, probably would have missed. Oh him. yeah, really missed the uh, second set of goals too. Oh, probably on. Yeah. The oh no. Mm. Yeah, it wasn't even impressive. Wasn't even but uh, as far as his, like his last kicks to have, you know, there's all the talk about you know going out on top and you know leaving yeah. it at that pinnacle. But yeah. you, you probably nailed it in terms of like there's no exactly. doubt exactly. <laughs> it, yeah. it was like, it's like go. I that's am it. done, and I'll see that, you later. <laughs> that's, the, that's the universe telling you it's time, pal. Yep. You are <laughs> you're right. Um, I remember. Closing. So weeks later, when we did the um, the caravan holiday with the family, and we were, we were up, we were in Byron Bay Caravan Park, and we were sort of sitting there just in armchairs, Justine and I. And this father and son were kicking the footy on the um, on the tennis court, and they were just kicking. We were sort of watching along, and the ball came uh, flying over the fence. And Justine's like, you, you really want to have a kick down? I was like, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I, so I, I like run over too fast, like run, that mm. keen and get it. And I go, I go to handball the ball up over the fence to the guy and I hit my hip <laughs> and, ham, <laughs> and the ball sort of rolls up and rolls away off the grass. I'm like, and the, the dad mm. looks at me and goes, it's a bit like your last kick, mate. <laughs> <laughs> he did. He did. Yes. Now yes. Justine's Justine's Just not a big laugher. Wounds. She's not a big laugher. Losing it. Just put five minutes aside <laughs> just to laugh at my expense. Yeah. Oh, what dude. a kick. What a moment. What, what a moment. What are you doing handball on it? Yeah, yeah, I don't know. That's what hey, that's that's what happens you once you're you. done. One, you lose all your instincts <laughs> once you retire, Weston. <laughs> Once you're done, yeah. you're absolutely done. What what I like about what you did though, Bon, and you've been quite adversarial today. I started this idea of oh, let's let's pick up an old bit of footage and and we'll sort of uh, reevaluate it and watch it. And I picked um, Bont's like what should have been goal of the year from his debut season. Mm. Thanks for re thanks for repaying the favour. Hey man, it's just it's just the way the cookie crumbles. I looked hard. I looked hard. I didn't have the vision of the the Adelaide kick, so I found the one, most recent. One team, one dream. <laughs> hey, um, uh, that was fun. I did enjoy that. It was a horrendous mm. moment in what was a what was a glittering career. Um, <laughs> uh, Woody, thanks so much for joining us, mate. Um, you can expect to see that kick against Adelaide in your inbox. Yeah. 
<laughs> yep. in the next couple of days and for the weeks <laughs> going forward. Marcus, just put you it on get a cycle. Just a couple of times. Yeah. yeah, just perfect. Yep, Marcus, you can get stuffed. Um, <laughs> Thank you. Couldn't Appreciate care less, it. and I don't <laughs> like, and I don't like your beanie. So um, there's that as well. So um, oh, let, I'll geez. see you next week, Ethan. I'll see you soon. Hopefully, um, good luck with training, um, and uh, can't wait to see you boys back out on the field. Catch you next week. Thanks.